Welcome to my channel Living Library. I'm your host Dave. I'll be sharing knowledge about consciousness, spirituality and life. Stay tuned. How do you shift to a more preferred reality? By Arjun of the Yayao channeled through Witik Kulhof. Throughout the ages, it has been understood by the tribes and indigenous people of your world that autumn is a perfect time for resetting the self. Where you are today, perhaps this may look like doing a light detox for the body, cleaning up the house, getting some nice overview providing bookkeeping done, or clearing the air between you and another person you've been wanting to share something with for a long time. Let the powerful autumn winds help you clear the energies and release all that no longer serves you. We will share a technique with you here today, for those of you, who have been feeling anxious to take this next step, even though they feel a strong inner pull to do so. We have found this to be very powerful as a permission slip for shifting to a more preferred reality. Whatever it is you feel you'd like to get resolved, simply picture yourself beyond the challenging situation. Truly see yourself, as if you had already encountered it, and by now, it has been fully integrated. Just say out loud to yourself, or repeat in your mind, I have this new job or I spoke to this person that I used to have a conflict with, and it wasn't easy, but I did it. Or just I am beyond that now. Make sure you keep on breathing, even more so, pick the type of breath that you believe goes with the thought you chose to focus on. So in the case of the earlier examples given, perhaps a sigh of relief, together with a relaxing of the shoulder muscles, or a change in posture altogether. Allow your entire body to play along with this game. To further enhance the impact of this practice, envision some playful details that make your visualization more lively, like, while I drove to the office to ask about that new function, I looked out of my car window and I spotted a flock of sparrows dancing in the sky. This made me smile. Or, the moment I signed up for that new education program that I've been dreaming of doing for years now, my favorite song suddenly started playing on the radio. Look the song up and start dancing to it. Humor. None of this needs to actually have happened yet, you can just make it up and then play it out. Think out of the box. Allow silly things to flow through your storyline, just to lighten up the entire idea you've decided to focus on. Almost nothing helps you find your center as effectively and quickly as laughter does. You have often made many of your challenges seem so rigid, mainly because you weren't taught how to play with them more. Adding funny or endearing details helps melt away this rigidity, and brings in fluidity, so circumstances can re-manifest in a more positive form into your world. Many of you will find, that especially these fun little details, though they seem irrelevant or silly at first perhaps, will often be the ones to be projected back to you in synchronicities first, as you start playing this game. We recommend to play with this tool no more than once or twice a day and only for up to five minutes. If your mind begins to drift, just allow it to do so, this simply means you've gone past the time you needed to use your full focus. Then just allow your entire visualization to evaporate and literally forget all about it. Go on with your daily business. Play the game again, and perhaps on another subject, only when it truly feels in the flow. Sometimes playing it once or up to three times for one subject is already enough for circumstances to begin shifting toward the positive end of the spectrum. We wish you so 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 much fun with all of this, and we look forward to sharing with you again, in yet another here and now. With radiant and absolutely unconditional love. Arjun and the Yeah Yell. Yeah.